Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe. We have new content coming out daily. Make sure you subscribe. God bless you guys. John O'Shea is with us. He is mounting a challenge of a incumbent Republican in the 12th Congressional District uh, outside of Fort Worth, Texas. Great people out there. I know a lot of people that live, live there. So let me ask a question, John. Sure. As far as what you were going to be focused on, it seems as if that the regime is covering their tracks on the Biden crime family. In fact, there's some breaking news from James Comer that we're going to be cutting out. Mm -hmm. Let's play. Let's play cut six, please, in regards to the DOJ. Play cut six. This uh, this corruption scheme has been going back to the time that Joe Biden was vice president. But what's really alarming about this is, as we know, the FBI has a mole in there that's advising Hunter Biden as to the investigations by the name of One Eye, which in saying it, it sounds like it's something out of a James Bond movie. But unfortunately, it's true with the amount of evidence that's coming forward. It's scary to think that this guy that's currently sitting in the White House has become this corrupt and it's really only doing one thing and that's aiding and abetting the communist chinese party so there's an active leaker within the fbi that's giving hunter biden inside information we shouldn't be surprised about this john your reaction no. well you know honestly uh confession by projection is one of the democrats go-to plays and you know what they accuse president trump of is in fact what they themselves were guilty of and I don't understand how people can't see that there's a very clear-cut two-tier system of justice right now, and a two-tier system of justice is no justice at all. I'm sure you know the times that I've seen your show and and people visiting. I mean, the the outward hostility and anger over the fact that nobody's been indicted, nobody's been brought to, you know with charges, except for Republicans. They can they can rush through criminal charges on George Santos, and yet they've sat on this information about the Biden crime family for the last three, four years? I, I mean, it's just, it, if nothing else, their brazenness at least has unmasked them, and now most people are, are awake, if not woke. I want to play cut 28, James Comer with some breaking news. FBI officials confirm that the unclassified FBI-generated record has not been disproven and is currently being used in an ongoing investigation. At the briefing, the FBI again refused to hand over the unclassified record to the custody of the House Oversight Committee, and we will now initiate contempt of Congress hearings this Thursday. Given the severity and complexity of the allegations contained within this record, Congress must investigate further. Congress must investigate further, and he confirms that this was all about a Vice President Biden pay-for-play bribery scheme with the foreign national. John, in closing, your final reaction. Uh, it's not shocking. I mean, the, the only thing I ask is that they actually do hold them in contempt and actually get something done with it. You know, if you're Dr. Peter Navarro or if you're Steve Bannon and you rely on executive mm -hmm. privilege and then they go ahead and shackle you and bring you into court, the same needs to be done for the opposite side as well. I mean, it's just time for people to see fair and equal treatment across the board.